You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Hmm? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my July empties. I do apologize that this video is late but um, better now than never, they say. <laughs> so uh, July was a pretty okay month. They have quite a few empties in here. So July was okay, but because of the fact I've left it so long, I might have a very small August empties, but we'll see. So if you are new to my channel and you've never seen me before, click that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And without further ado, let's get into the empties. So I guess we'll start off with the candle I burnt. Uh, this is the Love Heart Home Japanese Honeysuckle Candle. This was amazing. It literally burnt my entire room and you could literally smell the fragrance throughout my whole room. And I love this smell. If you're wondering where you can get these from, um, I got these from uh, the Nightjar Festival, which is a festival that gets held every year. And I always like looking at different candles when I'm there, and this was the one I picked up last year, I believe. I really love it. I probably will repurchase it because it smelled so good. It was, it was so good. Would highly recommend this candle if you can find this brand online, but really good candle lasts for ages. The next empty we have is the Radox Muscle Soak Bubble Buff. Um, I liked the fact this made really nice bubbles, but the scent, I felt like I was bathing in the washing machine. It's like, the smell wasn't all that great, it wasn't my favorite. I did like the fact it did make really nice bubbles, but I basically smelt like I was either in a dishwasher or a washing machine. So I probably won't repurchase this one again. The next empty we have is the M Decay All Night Hurt Setting Spray in the Cherry Scent. I got this one a little while ago when the Cherry Collection came out. I like the All Nighter, the original All Nighter Setting Spray, but this one basically smelled like I was spraying wine on my face. Wasn't all that great of a smell, but it did have the Jeopardy, the long lastingness of the All Nighter, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this again if it came back in stock. Basically, I don't like my face smelling like wine, but I do love the original All Nighter setting spray. It's a holy grail of mine. The next empty we have is the Playboy Play It Wild Body Mist. This stuff was really nice um, to just spray before I put my perfume on, when I got out of the shower. It was a really nice smell, lasted all day. I would totally repurchase this one again if I can find it. It smelled so good. Would highly recommend picking this one up if you guys can find it because it smells oh, amazing, so fresh, so lovely. Just perfect body spray for girls. The next empty I have in here is the OGX Argan Moroccan Oil. This was good. I really liked putting this in my hair um, before I went to bed. This is a treatment I normally do mainly every Monday night. I normally just drench my hair in oil and I sleep in it and I wash it out the next day and it leaves my hair feeling so soft and just increased hair growth and it is so good. If you guys have never done it before, I would highly recommend trying it out. This is one of the two treatments I do every week for my hair to help my hair grow out, but I did enjoy this. I would definitely repurchase it again. The next empty I have is the Lux Tahitian Escape Body Wash. This stuff smells so good. Great exfoliating body wash. It only cost me $5 at Kmart, which is amazing and it just smells so good so refreshing so free it's like being on a tropical holiday would totally recommend it if you can find it you can normally find this at kmart or priceline for a really good price or at the supermarket but mainly target and priceline the next empty i have is the goldwell kara silk control 
uh, hair oil. I've had this for a while and it took me forever to get through but I'm so glad I finally got through it. I also used this as well. This was another oil I was using as my oil treatment. There's still a tiny bit left but I literally cannot get it out. So that is another hair oil I use and it's basically a hair oil perfume so it smells so good. My hairdresser recommended this to me and I'm so thankful she did because I loved it. The next MD I have, I guess I'd show these together, is the Kristen S. The One Signature Shampoo and Conditioner. I love both of these. These made my hair feel so good. I love them so much. This was definitely a July favorite for me. And I actually now have the full sizes in the bathroom because they were just so good. The one downside to these products I'll say is the shampoo didn't really lather up in my hair as much as I would like it to, but the conditioner was so silky smooth. I love both of these products and I will continue to use them. And finally, the last product I have is the Karuna Antioxidant Face Mask. This was a sheet mask I got as a sample in my Mecca box. I decided to try it. But I've recently noticed that I don't think sheet masks really do much for my face. Like, I don't really see a huge difference in my face. I don't know if it's my skin type or what's going on, but it was an okay sheet mask. Would I repurchase it? I don't know. Like, I really don't see a huge difference when it comes to sheet masks. Oh, I'm sorry. We have another product in here. This was a sample of the Tatcha uh, Camila Lip Balm. This is so good. I would totally get this as a full size because it was so good. It made my lips so soft and smooth. Oh, it was so good. It's literally all gone. So I would totally repurchase it. I love some of Touch's products, not all of them, but some of them are really good. I would totally repurchase this one. That brings us to the end of my July empties. Uh, there were a few good products. Some of them were bad, some of them I wouldn't repurchase, some of them I would, but you know, it was a mixture of both really. And I really enjoyed having some good empties in July. So I do have a few things that I'm finishing up in August. So hopefully I'll have a couple August empties. I might not have a lot just due to the fact that we're halfway through the month. And basically I think it's next week or the week after it'll be September. Gee, where is the year going? I'm, I can't believe it's gonna be September soon. That's crazy. But yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.